All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. All right, here we are in the QBO Gym. And the QBO Gym is a place where we have numerous exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every single month we come up with new exercises for you to practice your skills and we break it down for you into four different sections. Today we're gonna to be working in the January cardio section. Now at the top here is a little animated video to tell you what you're gonna be doing for Craig this month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive quiz to test your knowledge. Below that are all of the exercises within this section. And then at the bottom, once you have completed all of the exercises in that section, you can use some of our sample posts here to post on LinkedIn all about what you have done and learned so far. So let's dive right into today's exercise where we're going to practice dealing with errors in uncategorized income and expenses. Go ahead and click on this link right here to get the exercise pulled up. I already have it here on the right hand side. So let's see what we're gonna do today. As you continue to work on Craig's books, you notice that he has categorized things all wrong. For example, when you run a profit and loss, you notice that he has both an uncategorized income and uncategorized expense account. How did it get there and why should you, or what should you do about it? So let's go ahead and get started. You need to be in the sample company. Now, if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description that I'll give you all of that information. I have the sample company open right here um, on the left side, and this is where we're going to be working. Oh, there's a little pop-up. I'm gonna get out of that one. <laughs> all right, so finding the problem. So in our scenario, you have, you have run a profit and loss, and you notice that Craig has an uncategorized income account, and he also has an uncategorized expense account. So how did this happen, and what should you do about it? Um, remember, in the scenario, you run, ran a profit and loss, and that's how you were able to see those two accounts. Now, uncategorized income and uncategorized expense are accounts uh, created by QBO to use when processing the bank feeds. If you do not select a category when you're adding a transaction, um, they are added here. So let's see how this would happen. Let's go ahead and click on bank transactions from the left nav bar. Now we have here, um, bank transactions happens to be a bookmark, so you can click there or you can hover over transactions and select bank transactions. And this is what will show up for you. If you get any pop-ups, just go ahead and close out of those. They are just there as a guide from QVO to give you a little overview of what this area is for. So here you can see a bank fee transaction that does not match a QBO transaction. Instead of categorizing it, Craig would have just clicked add. And that is this one right here. So let's simulate what Craig had done and just do that. So this very first one, this books by Bessie for $55, go ahead and click on add. Now that we've done that one, let's add all of the uncategorized transactions, both the income and the expense ones that are left. So we're going to go ahead and click on the checkbox next to each one that says uncategorized income or expense. So there's these three right at the top here that say a rental, excuse me, um, they are, <clears throat> excuse me, um, they are uncategorized income and uncategorized expense. And there's one more down here. If you keep scrolling, it's towards the bottom. This one for Hicks Hardware, it's also an uncategorized expense. Go ahead and click on the checkbox for that one as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and click Accept. And when we do that, all of those have been added here. So scroll back to the top. Um, we have now uh, created the problem, but let's just double check that we have. Go ahead and click on reports um, from the left nav bar over here. Click on that. And then when you do in this favorite section, we're going to click on profit and loss. Go ahead and click on that one. And you can see here there is that uncategorized income and that uncategorized expense. So we have successfully recreated the problem. And now let's go ahead and fix it. 
So this is a great use for the reclassify tool. So to get there, we want to go up to accountant tools and then click on reclassify transactions. Accountant tools is right up here at the top. So go ahead and click on that. And then under tools, you're going to click on reclassify transactions. Now the reclassify tool defaults to last month. We will want to change the starting date to the first day two months prior and the ending date to include today. So as an example, if today's date was January 2nd, the date range would be November 1st to January 2nd. So um, my date, so you need to change the from to um, two months prior, the first day two months prior. For me, that is November 1st, and then today happens to be January 2nd. So I'm going to click on that, make sure that you have that wide range, um, and you will see why in a minute so that we can get all of the transactions to show up that we want it to show up. All right, so now that these uh, date range has been completed, let's go ahead and click on Find Transactions. Now this will list all of the transactions in that date range. I'm going to collapse this for a moment just so you can see. There are all kinds of accounts that you can see. This is every single transaction that's within that date range, but we only want the ones that are categorized to uncategorized income. So um, this thing that I just collapsed on the side here, you want to find uncategorized income and then go ahead and select it. Scroll down a little bit, there is this one right here for 200, just go ahead and click on that. And when you do, you will see the one transaction up here. So let me coll uh, collapse that for a moment just so you can see this, um, this transaction here. This is for A1 rental. Now the bank description is cut off, but if you hover over it, you will be able to read the entire thing. So here's that bank description you see. Um, let's see, when you hover over it, you see a little pop-up come up. Um, and you will see that this is for a backhoe deposit refund. Now refunds should always be categorized back to the original category, which in this case is equipment rental. So we could use the reclassify tool or you can just edit the transaction directly. Since there is only one, we're going to do the latter. So we're gonna click on this A1 rental backhoe deposit refund. So just go ahead and click on that to open up that transaction. Now, when we added this transaction from the bank feed, QBO automatically created a bank deposit with the item, this transaction, under add funds to this deposit. So the only thing we need to do here is just change the accounts. So let's scroll down here, this add funds to this deposit. If you click into account, go ahead and do that. And now we're going to change this to equipment rental. So you can either type in here or you can use the arrow key to um, get a drop down or the down arrow to get the drop down. You would wanna scroll down into the expenses and we wanna find the one that says equipment rental. So go ahead and click on that. And now that we have changed the category, or the, uh, excuse me, the account, let's go ahead and just save and close this. Go ahead and click on the down arrow right here and then select save and close. And there you go, that bank deposit has been saved and it has been reclassified properly. Now that was the only uncategorized income, so let's turn our attention to uncategorized expense. Let's do uh, find all of those expenses uh, transactions the same way we did before. Um, I'm going to expand this again so that you can see. We want to find uncategorized expense and then click on that. That should be towards the bottom. Here it is, uncategorized expense. Go ahead and click on that. And when you do, you will see the transactions appear. I'm going to once again collapse this so that you can see it. Feel free to do the same thing if you would like. Now the first two that are on here are for A1 rental. This time we'll use the reclassify tool to make the change. So let's go ahead and click on a checkbox next to each one of those. It's this first, these first two right here. And now we're going to click reclassify, which is the green button. And we need to change the account, just like in the previous one that we just did. This is also for equipment rental. So click the down arrow and keep scrolling down, um, or you could type in there if you would like. Um, scroll down to the expense uh, accounts, and you will see equipment rental. Go ahead and click on that, and then click on apply. 
And now those two transactions have been properly changed as well. So last, we'll categorize the Hicks hardware expense to supplies. Let's go ahead and click on the checkbox right here and click on reclassify. We're going to change that account again to supplies. So click the down arrow. Once again, you can type it in or you can um, scroll down to expenses until we find supplies. There it is. Go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to click on the green apply button. Now that transaction has been done as well. So we are finished. You could always run another profit and loss uh, report to confirm, but you can also see that these accounts have disappeared from the reclassification tool. Um, if I open this back up and we looked for it, we're not going to see it. So we are all done here and that is it. That is how you would uh, fix uncategorized expense and income accounts. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO gym, just go ahead and click on the link below in the description. Be sure to leave this session of the sample company open as you will need it for the next exercise in the cardio section, where we practice dealing with errors related to undeposited funds. And I will see you in the next video.